Hi, welcome back. On this video, we are going to be learning how to use predefined math functions from PHP. All right, so I'm going to give you a couple examples and then I will let you know where they are. So the first thing that I want to do is show you an, a function called POW. This, is, this function is going to be in charge of actually doing um, using the 2 to the 7th power. All right. So if we go here, it's 28. All right, 2 to the 7 power is 28. It uses the 2 as a base right here. All right, so what else? Let's just do a BR tag here. Just to give you an example, this is not, there are many different functions, and we will be using a couple of them just to give you an example. There is another function called RAND. This function is super useful. This is going to return a random number every time. Actually, we need to. There we go. Look at that random number. Crazy random numbers, right? If I refresh it, it gives me a random number all, all the time. And if I pass it one parameter, I, I'm telling it start from one and give me a random number from one to a thousand. And now, if I refresh, look at that. Different number from one to a thousand. Perfect. It's better if I use my keyboard. It's actually faster. If I use this, I can't use the mouse yet as fast as I can use my keyboard. You see that? Command R or Control R. There we go. And let's do let's do another one. Let's go and use the let's square root. I think it's S Q R T, I believe. S Q R T. Alright. This one for random I get my my editor is helping me out, but this one I can't really get that much help. But that's fine. I think I got it right. There we go. The square root of a hundred, ten. Um let's um I think uh that's it. I mean, let's try one more. Let's try one more. Let's go ahead and let me just. All right. So I'm gonna use a one called ceiling. And what I want to do is take a number like this with a decimal, and we're gonna round it up to the next. All right, integer. All right. So we can always use also one another one. Now that I remember, called floor. And we can run that down to the next integer, right? So, perfect. So floor is gonna run the down, and the five is gonna run the up. Let's look at some math functions here. All right, so we see some math functions right here. All right, let's uh, go ahead and see. If we can find one called round. Ceiling rounds up. Let's click, keep going, and round rounds of flow. So there is another one actually that's what I wanted to make sure that we round you know depending on which is the second number here right so if we use this one here but we call it round actually that's the name of the function right you see that it, it, it runs it up to the nearest to if depending on the second number so if this was a 4 it runs it down to 4 see that just like we do in school all right. So, just to give you a couple examples here. If you don't, this file should be in your course exercise, exercise files. It should be number twenty-four underscore math underscore functions. If you are doing a different folder, if you're using a different folder, call call it math underscore functions dot php. All right. You can always do a save as from blank dot php. All right. So there you have it then, and this is the address of course to find those functions. Actually, no, this is the address right here. All right. So thank you so much for watching, and I see you in the next lecture. Good luck.